Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video in building a full client side project with uh, Blazor WebAssembly Planner app. Today in this video we will implement paging and we will complete what we have done in the previous one. We have created this list. Now we will create paging. As you can see, we can navigate by with pages via the buttons below or via the URL here. We can go to page number two okay or we have the buttons below so let's get started so now to get started we will go back to the plants component and here uh, i have made a little uh, change here i have i was set height to fixed and now i have changed it to width set it to fixed because that led to a stretch in the image and also have set a little margin for the card okay now the first uh, the first thing we should do in paging is to calculate the number of pages so we can iterate and create the corresponding number of buttons so to start i will set integer total pages equals by default to one like this now to calculate the total number here inside the result i have a count uh, a property which has uh, the total number of plans and I also has uh, the page size which tell me how each page uh, has number of plans so let's say we have the total number of plans is 50 plans and page size is 10 in this way this will give us five pages right we can basically just define uh, divide the total number of plans on the size of the page so we got the number of pages another case is when we have reminders like we have 54 plans and page size is 10 this gives us full five pages in addition to a page that has the reminder which is four another page that has only four plans right so we should calculate uh, the reminder of this division operation by the total count of plans into the base size to do so here i will say result.count modules i will use this operator result.page size this will return the reminder of this division operation if it's zero then directly that total pages is equals to result.count result.page this way page size sorry okay now it's if it uh, if it's not equals to zero in this case it's result.count divided by page size but plus one Like this case, to the result of the division in addition to one page. Okay, that's good. I will create here a function that will uh, load the values for the new page. I will call it move to page async integer page number this way. As we did before, get plans async depends on the parameter we have. Uh, passed from the URL which called page number dot value so right now we can directly set the page number to this parameter and then call the get plans async again this way we can load uh, the new plans for the specified page now we will go back to the DOM to specify uh, the buttons I will create a for loop to total pages but it's going to start from 1 and total pages will be greater than or equal to I this way now I can copy this paste it inside the for loop change the text to I dot to string and the click function at async 
and call them move to page async. Now, I should pass i here, but there is a little issue between Blazor, for loop, and C sharp inside the component. Actually, if I pass i, what's going on to start it when we start the application? Let's imagine I have two pages, so the total pages is two. It's going to start on one, create a button, set one, then uh, add one to i, so the total value is two. Check the condition here, okay, it's uh, valid, add another button, then it's going to add one to i, it's going to be three, check that condition, then it will leave. But what Blazor does here, it always shows three here, send back the value three. I don't know why actually, but the solve for this issue, the solution is just to pass a variable instead of passing i directly. Just like this, creating a new variable that holds uh, the value of i now, then pass this variable to the lambda expression here. Okay, now that's it. Um, we can add a little thing, which is if the user right now currently in the page 2, we can disable the button of the page 2 so the user cannot click it again and load the same data. We can add a if condition page, the current page is equals to the page number else take this, paste it here and paste it here. If we are in the same page, just simply disable to true of this button. So that's it. Let's try to run the project and check the result. Now I'll go to plans. Here I have the first page. I have added about 13 to 14 plans via the postman. So I should have two pages, as you can see, and the current page is disabled because we are in it. If I click the page two, I should get three or four plans. Yeah, that's it. Go back to the page one. Yeah, that's good. And it was very, very simple. Now, what if I try to navigate directly from, go to the home page, let's try to navigate to plans, page two, hit enter. If I try to navigate via the URL, Okay, we got an exception, yeah. Let's go to the developer tools to see what's going on. Console, enable to set property. Ah, okay. There is something here. Uh, I have set this one to integer nullable. And here I just said that there is a variable called page number. He tries to, or C sharp tries to uh, cast this value into an integer nullable so it failed you have to set the type like this like page number is an integer this way this issue will be solved let's run again now go to plans page number two okay very good everything's working fine I think that's enough for now to not make the session longer. In the next one, we will implement search, move to add and delete. We still have the checkbox or sorry, the to-do items. It's a short session, only one session. Then deployment and you will be done. I will try to make them as fast as I can, but you know, work and something like this. So I don't always find the time to work for long hours on uh, this course don't forget before you leave if you like the course to hit the like button for this video and subscribe to AK Academy to stay up to date with every new video being posted about Blazor or .NET in general thank you